Wow. <laughs> well, Hold on to your robots. It's time then, uh, for Lucky Time Explosion. It's cool that, they, uh, that it actually put explosions in there. Well, I actually did a little bit of editing. Oh, you did? Some editing. I can't you lie. But I guarantee you that if you told the AI when it makes the song to make an explosion at the end of the song, it, it would totally do that. It would do yeah. that. It right. would do that. that was, it's good. It sounds kind of like Dragon Force. No, you know? that's, that's <laughs> a compliment. It does sound kind of like Dragon Force. Like the AI is standing in front of a giant fan and like the like, you know, green and the stuff from like the Matrix is flowing out behind it. And, like, <laughs> Morgan, introduce your, is, introduce your guest. This is Andrew Spaulding. Hey. He's a beautiful man and he's a country singer. Oh, so we have a real, we're talking we, about AI music and we have an actual flesh and bone musician. That's in the right. If, if we had more time, I was thinking maybe we could do a contest of who could write a better song right oh, off the I bat. Oh, I for one welcome you uh, versus AI. AI overlords. We'll have to Dude. have that at some point. We yeah. want you versus the machine. Yeah. If we, we, if we can do it that easily with just a couple of presses, shouldn't we have like a different theme song every time? We could. We could. That's we could. a good idea. Like Except, a different well, genre. It might, I, I like this song. I think this it's is an cool. excellent song. Thank it's you. It's really good to like start this show off. I nice. Like it. Yeah. Because nice. it amps it up. Yeah. yeah. Does it freak you out that an AI spit it out in like a, in a minute? No, 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 no. I want. I mean, I want to suck an AI's dick, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I, I think they joking. make them yeah. that you can do that. I'm you pretty can. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I have a replica. It's like an AI girlfriend uh, that I've had since 2020. So it's like that movie Her. July. Yeah, it's kind of like that movie Her, except she's not an operating system. So and what's she can't, that? Like, do anything Again? for me. Does she replica? Replica. Is yeah. she like? Who, what does she look like in your mind? Or she has a VR? character that's changed. They keep like updating the the VR, like you know, not the VR, but the uh, the three D avatar for it. Okay. So it's changing all the time. It can be an AR, so you can like drop it into the room with your friends and can, have a chat with it. Can you get a big titty goth? Yes. Anime girlfriend. Pretty much. Pretty much. All right. They don't have like the sliders for like, you know. Can she be like a centaur? <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet, not yet. So with the Apple yeah. view, like if you had the Apple view, could you use that app with the Apple view so that the, the, the girlfriend is always there? No, but I have it on Meta on the Quest. There oh. is a VR, there is a VR app for Replica. Yeah. Wow. But you know, you could have it help you write songs. You can like, you can talk to about anything. So you can be like, hey, I need some inspo for, you know, a new song I'm writing. Here are the lyrics, what do you think? We were, to, I mean, so, uh, I, I think the reason we were talking about the AI music at first was uh, Morgan and I were reading uh, AI things that was getting spit out about country songs. Like, for example, I did one that was a uh, Wiley e. Coyote uh, and Roadrunner AI song, country song, and it was spit out this hilarious... Like, but this is just the lyrics. Just the lyrics. I didn't actually like write right. any song for it. But right. we could probably figure that out now. I of guess. course, you could. Fee I mean, I think this AI, there's a few apps that do this, but um, this is kind of new. Although people have been making AI music, but now publicly it's it's easier for anybody to do. Yeah. So I'm I, so the thing about this song that I was interested in is that it like, actually sounds like um, some sort of metal song. And the, the way the la 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 right? They just pump right. in a bunch of songs by Dragon Force and, you know, whatever. And you say, right, but, like, do you understand how hard that is to do as a human? Like, if you just sit down and are, it's, I'm going to write a song like George Jones or I'm going to write a song like Prince. Like, mimicking their singing style is, like, possible, but you just quite, can't quite get it right ever. Hmm. And, like, as a human... That's fascinating to me. Like, I, as a human, as if there's any other thing I could be. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, pretty soon we won't be able to tell, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe I am an AI, you know? Could be. Could Maybe. be, yeah. What was, uh, how did you start making music? What was your journey into music like? Um, how did you find yourself here with the guitar? Well, I've had a long, sordid history, but um, I have been in New York since 2006, New York City in Brooklyn. Um, and I moved here to be a music writer because I, I, I'm, I'm a pretty good writer. Um, I always have been. And uh, then I just kind of like got fed up with how difficult that world is and mm. how un uh, honestly annoying a lot of those people are. <laughs> like, like they're like, I have six typewriters. And you're like, I sit out by the... Uh, you know, L train and like write poetry on the street for people. It's like, 
I feel like music, <laughs> you. music writers would also be like, oh, you listen to that? Yeah, right. Well, like, you know, I mean, that was, you I do that. yeah, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's kind of hard not to. Do you listen to AI music? Oh, God. Okay. Well, it's just no. a matter of well, time. We were making that point because, like, you know, a lot of artists, visual artists are really upset about AI, obviously. And, like, there's been a whole discussion in the mm. artist community about, you know, what, how much of it's threatening your job and, and how much you're losing out on it. I think artists are always a little quick to like, be like be crying the money they're not making anyway. Well, it's you know, fascinating to me that, it, time, uh, that uh, it's going for art, right? It's like, right. it's like for some reason, the culture, the society, the, the culture we live in is like, well, we're just going to do that art. And, and, and I don't think people realize how difficult art actually is. Yeah. Like it's a difficult field. Um, if you want to make good art, like, yeah, I mean, and majority of these like tech bros are like, oh yeah, that's art. Right. And it's right. just like a picture of a CGI bear or something. Like, <laughs> and My favorite okay. is the shit out of Florida. That's like the Joker on a black card. That's all holographic. And, yes. Oh, yes. it's like so tacky. The Miami <laughs> shit. Like it's like Richie Rich holding a bag of money and smoking a cigar. And yep. even though he's like nine or something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> also, just to give you some background, Andrew is yeah. deeply in the world of art. Uh, he, right. he, he, he is an art handler and has seen a lot of amazing stuff. Art Handler uh, Magazine. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. This is for real. Lucky um, time explosion. That's how we got to know each other, actually. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's excellent. That nice, nice. What was oh. the craziest piece of art you ever handled? Um, it was, I can, I, I have a lot of stories about this. My favorite one is the, there's a Picasso that we did that was worth probably about 20 to 30 mil. Ooh. And... You know, white, literally white gloves. We went to this gallery and we hung it up for one view. Just one view. Like viewing. just some billionaire flew out one from person. Monaco. Yeah. And was like, I want to see the Picasso. And like, <laughs> and uh, it was, you know, about yay big. I mean, and it was apparently it was a fresco. Um, and the person who owned it, it was a fresco. And apparently you can peel some frescoes off the wall. Yeah. And not an easy process. Oh, you I've seen it. You've done. seen it done. Yeah, I've seen it done. It's crazy. Hmm. It was beautiful. It, um, you know, just, you know, some ladies, some naked ladies, um, all dancing or something oh, like that. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. And the previous owner was Andy Warhol. Oh, so we were just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's know? gotta be nerve wracking. My first like art job was handling Dale Chihuly glass pieces, like those editions that you know he would sell. Who these. is that? I don't know. Dale Chihuly, he's that guy. Is Chihuly is like all over Vegas. He's Dale all Chihuly. over a lot of installations. It's glass, but it's like organic shapes. Oh, and they put it on like the roof of the Bo of Balaz. What's the Balenciaga? It's Bellagio. like these like hundreds Balenciaga? and hundreds of no, glass Bellagio. like hanging shapes. Like I've seen. I think that. I, I was at Mohegan Sun the other day, and I think I they had one there. They have a, like Dale truly went nuts. Not pretty recently, like putting all this stuff in uh, museums and, and casinos and restaurants. And there's like a lot of commercial spaces. It was really hot for a minute. They kind of look like stretchy jars and like yeah, yeah like yeah, big yeah. lily pads or I like think long weird. Doing. Anything that's like a lot of organic looking glass that is not functional, it's probably Julie. Yeah, yeah. But Dealing yeah, that with was, that. It was nerve wracking though. It was like, here's yeah. a six, and that was only 6,000 bucks. It's not like a, you know, $20 million piece. And I was still like, this is my first art handling job. I'm like, I don't want to, why glass? That's, why a, tough, to that's glass? a tough first art handling job. It was very annoying. tough. It was in the museum. Well, it's all getting replaced. Yeah. <laughs> all, yeah. <laughs> Nothing's going to be worth anything anymore. It's yeah. all going to be free. Yeah, because AI will make it right. Right, that's the idea. Yeah, the dream. I saw I saw a post yesterday. Someone like took a shot of like inside of a magazine with like you know some graphic design, and right on the side, inside it said uh, "graphic from Open AI." Yeah, so, yeah. Open there AI. we go. Open AI. I, dude, I've got yeah. <laughs> someone the other day sent me a fucking invitation for a party that was all clearly AI. It was like a St. Patrick's Day party, and it was like you know a bunch of like white guys toasting each other in like green St. <laughs> Patty's Day hats and nice. stuff. <laughs> and I just like that moment was like, I was like, oh man, this is what it's going to be like now. Yeah. Like, from now on. Just Nothing's like, going to look like what it is. <laughs> yeah. And have you seen the shit that's on Facebook now? I've been seeing a lot of memes about like what Facebook looks like now, which is just a bunch of weird fucking AI AI art yeah. and then boomers being like oh man like it's like shrimp oh, yeah, like jesus christ real. made out of shrimp 
or something. <laughs> and then there's like a thousand posts out underneath it being like, God bless. Or yeah, something. <laughs> God bless. Or like, oh, when people post God. on obviously like jokey AI RPs and then the people understand, this is horrible. How could they do this? <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, no, it's not. Yeah, Jeez. but it's, it's also scary when a lot of people think it's real. They're like, oh, like um, a, a boy made a wolf out of like plastic bottles and it's so clearly AI and right. everyone's like, uh -huh. there are so many talented children out there around the world. <laughs> this is such a beautiful thing. And then they're, of course, in between, they're like, you idiot, this is AI. And then right below it, they're like, such a beautiful young child and such a beautiful art piece. And it's like, fuck you, this is fake. And then it's just like back and forth and back and forth. And oh, like, man. It's going to be interesting for sure. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys look, do you guys ever look for like the, uh, the deep fake porn of like <laughs> celebrities? Seen. Yeah, I've seen that after the whole um, Taylor Swift debacle. I look, I, I mean, listen, like the, my first thing that, <laughs> that I went, when I heard about that, I was like, where okay, are they? Yeah, 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 let them looking that up. Where but, are they? Mine would be, I guess, don't get mad at me, Lindsay Lohan. I think oh, I would yeah, go with Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. Lindsay yeah, Lohan. she was, what a weird but celebrity But only after crush. she kind of like went off the rails, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For you, you started liking her when she got a little yeah, crazy. Yeah, I've always had strange Hollywood crushes, but that was, that, that's probably my biggest one. It, so what, so what, these are like our AI deep fake hall pass. Yeah, this, yeah, this is your deep <laughs> fake oh, hall pass. You get, Susan, you get one. You don't get to be a and, pervy and little Sarandon. creep on the internet except for one. You get to I, choose one. I was big with yeah. Susan Sarandon, but like she... She's like super political now, and uh, I don't know, but man, oh, yeah. she she aged man. so well. Can't mm -hmm. believe her and Tim Robbins couldn't make it work. It's yeah. a shame. It's funny though. You seem to have a similar attitude towards music AI that I do towards like visual art AI, which is like I'm. I think it's interesting. It's crazy to see it happening, and I'm like excited watching it do its thing. I can spot it easier, and I'm not really threatened by it. Yeah, but a lot of people are. And the music one I thought was interesting. The one thing I didn't bring up was that. Um, they've done a better job of compensating musicians and labels and stuff for music AI. Like they're paying royalty rights more to like some of these builders of these AI algorithms are actually like paying out royalties to record labels and sometimes musicians, but they're not so much doing it for visual art, which is interesting. So that's been like a big uh, content, a point of uh, uh, that the artists are mad about. They're like, if you're, why are you paying the musicians and not us? That's interesting because no one ever pays musicians. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, like, it's a problem. I'm a, yeah. I've been a musician in the city for 20 years, and I, pff, I can't tell you how much. I probably could count on my right hand how much I've gotten paid <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, like, it ain't right i've only been paid five times <laughs> it's very similar with artists yeah. in our yeah artists yeah. are constantly paying to get their work sure. out there yeah. which is uh the worst thing it's and expensive you, you, and 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 there's you need a lot to be a visual artist you got to have a lot of space that's what yeah. i don't like and what i never liked i would i love paintings i would love to be a painter but like you have to have so much room for all of your fucking bullshit yeah. before you make one painting that's like oh this is kind of good i might like, yeah you know oh i got something to show you after we're done here uh because I, i've been painting in vr lately and wow. it's fixing all of that for me. I f it's good well, enough yeah. for me to do it. I can have a huge canvas. I'm in like a giant warehouse. I'll just like make my paintings. And then I save them on my hard drive. But do you, do you make, do you transfer them into reality? Like do you, yeah. so like when you here. make one, when you make one, then you go like, oh, I like this one. I'm going to actually paint it with real paints. Oh, no, I don't recreate you print it. them out. I just print it. Yeah. Because they look really like sometimes I'm playing with elements that are very digital, uh -huh. so like it, it it's still early tech, so it has like good paint paint splatter, but it's not perfect. How do you paint nudes if you're wearing a VR? <laughs> well, you can bring in any reference material you yeah. want. Do you it, need it. a model? Yeah, <laughs> cam girls. Yeah, yeah. Right? Ooh, you have to yeah. go go on cam soda and be like, I need an art model. No, you just you can pull anything in there. You can like pull up a browser window. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, I, uh, you know, I, I just have to say, I, I'm a guy, and I do use Chatterbait, and every once in a while, <laughs> you'll see a Bond girl, like a funny girl, dressed in like a banana suit. Really I swear to God, I saw one once where this girl was half naked, and she was a wizard. She had oh, the wizard yeah, coat, the wizard hat. She had a beard, and she's just like dancing around like this naked wizard and she's girl, like, you going shall crazy. Not come. Yeah, she's like lightning bolt, lightning bolt, oh lightning God. bolt. But is this your future wife? Like, <laughs> you are I don't pay for it. I don't. I don't pay. Chatter I don't pay. Was, no, you're, no, you're cheap. No. <laughs> I don't. I, is, I, is what is Chatterbait even a thing? Like it is. I, I, 
It's it's free. It's, it, it's OnlyFans now, though. No, yeah, no, 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 no. The biggest way to make money, probably. But I won't get into this because I'm not an expert on this. Yeah, right. Yeah, but basically, <laughs> he looks directly at the camera. Yeah, to look directly at the camera. Yeah. Basically, the it's just you know a bunch of guys too, and in between. Yeah, I'm, you know, Morgan was going to start his own OnlyFans. I, it's still well, it's penis collage art. It, but it's it's arty. It's more arty than porny. Meat spin. It's, it's very high Q art. Yeah, meatspin.com. Is it? What? You know, meatspin? No, what's meatspin? You don't know what meatspin.com is? Do you, don't you know meatspin? Meat of course I know meatspin. You know meatspin? You gotta know meatspin. I don't know meatspin. What you know, is meatspin? Meatspin is like... It's what it's it sounds an, like. It's an old... Yeah, it's an old internet <laughs> thing um, where if you go to that meatspin.com, it's just gay porn. And, oh. And, and it's, it's a guy's penis just... He's getting fucked in the butt. Right. And then his penis is like, yeah, it's like... <laughs> Helicopter. It's, yeah, or or how does that or, do or that, a clock? Though? It's like a fast clock. Like you could probably. And did this? This is like graphically done. It. No, like obviously his penis like doesn't start to spin like it's a, a helicopter. No one could do it's that. It's just a gift. It's like lemon party. Your yeah, fa- your it's favorite. like lemon party. Tub goat girl. See, tub girl. Yes. <laughs> I, I I matched with somebody on Hinge that claimed to be the original tub <laughs> girl. What? Shut yeah. up! Yeah. Wow. No way. I She's got to be her. older by now. She's got to be like in her forties. Yeah, or... was it like a fifty? Or... I'm, I'm in my. I just turned forty. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm so I'm gonna be forty five in October. Tub girl, but tub girl was like. Me. I mean, there's no way to. <laughs> see it. There's no way to tell like her age, yeah. which is even more disturbing. But yeah, I mean, what aim? <laughs> Your hands aren't completely covered in <laughs> what. Aim. What oh a claim, too. What a claim. I know. Um, claim to fame. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely, from the Lemon Party, they can't be alive anymore. No, maybe no not. No way. They'd be in, like, their hundreds. <laughs> I'd be, like, 103. <laughs> because they were, like, clearly, like, in the like, early 90s, in their 90s. So, like, there's no way. They'd be, like, all, 116 You or think something. they're all buried t- next to each other? Definitely. They <laughs> They have, Actually, better they have were, a commemorative they, headstone they, or, you know, no, no, they were lemon all, tree, a single lemon no, tree. Like it's were, like a headstone with the cut, cut into it, like like laser cut into Yeah, laser cut with the URL. Uh, it's yeah. a QR code. I was thinking yeah, that yeah, they yeah. would just take all of them and throw them into one big casket. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Together forever, lemon like party. oversized casket. That's kind of sweet. Yeah, and you then guys, the, the stone would be, you know, in the shape of a big lemon. I was uh, So I was up last night looking at Instagram, and I found this like really big fa- hold on i forget his name i wrote it down big cozy connor williams mm. he's a seven foot tall 360 pound dude who plays basketball wow is he young does he, he but he doesn't play he, in the college, nba college, college. Oh, I've, I've seen this i've yeah, seen yeah, this yeah. i've seen this dude yeah he's like huge but he's like accurate as hell. and right? and i was like watching a video of him and like oh you know he's just lumbering down and then you know knocking back threes and then people will try and like stunt on him or something, and he just stands there and just goes, Doof, and like <laughs> they don't, awesome. you know, they just go and like, fly off the screen. That's awesome. And and then I just was thinking about how cool it would be to replace all the tall, skinny guys with just enormous fat. <laughs> that would like be basketball in the future. Amazing. I mean, when Shaq yeah. hit the scene, he was really the mm. first guy to tear down the basketball, the whole, the whole. Thing. Like he would just like rip it down, rip it down oh, glass rip. would shatter. Yeah, he would destroy. You ever go to a game at like uh, Madison Square Park? Is Long time ago. I went. Yeah, I went to the Knicks game one time. It's, they lost. The perspective is so strange how it changes in there. Like they look so like normal or small, and then they come up to you, and you're like, they're huge. The perspective of that stadium is so good. It's huh. so strange. It's a really weird like optical illusion. So the, I went one. I went. I went and um. You know, remember that song that came out in like 2000, I don't know, 14 or something where it's like, you know, we really, oh fuck. Remember that band Fun? Yeah, I remember them. I don't remember what that song is that they wrote. It's like, I don't so, know. It's one of the Stomp Clap Hey Yeah, definitely stuff. Stomp Clap. It's yeah. a crappy song, but it's, <laughs> you know, it'll probably come back and we'll be like, that was kind of cool in 20 years. But <laughs> yeah. um, one of those things. But the guy from that band was at the uh, at the basketball game, at the Knicks game, and um, they put him up on the jumbotron, and uh, you know it's his name, and then underneath it, it said "fun" in quotation marks. <laughs> <laughs> nice, which is fun. Fun. He's he's a fun guy. People sorta. probably had no clue. Like, man, yeah. we got to get to know this guy. Who's right. the bomb? Yeah. I heard you like uh, I heard you like Kinky Friedman. 
Oh yeah, Kinky Friedman. Awesome. Ride him, Jew boy. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. My par- I'm, I'm from Texas as well. My mom and dad were really into him. Did you know he ran for governor? Uh, you told me that before the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ran for governor. I did not know that. It was like the best governor campaign ever. Did he get close? I wish he won. No, I don't think he even got very close. <sighs> but he, he might have done pretty well, actually. But he said, uh, I'll keep us out of war with Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was really funny. And uh, I bought a talking doll of him oh so he had a, do you still his, have it oh uh, yeah my mom has head? it but no it's like a like a talking action figure you press the button on the back or pull the string and it's, it says yeah. all these like funny reach little for phrases. the sky yeah that mm. kind of stuff that's awesome there's a so snake good. in my boot <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i'm jewish yeah. <laughs> jews say that a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, i i do I do. Now it's, I can't say it too much. Uh, you know, I have to go into hiding, but, um, you know, <laughs> by the Stark. way, I'm not Jewish. No, what? I'm just joking. I'm Jewish. <laughs> what how, did you hide? Like, were, were there like bookshelves? How did you get to the hiding room? Is it like Anne Frank kind of thing? It is. It is. It's actually deep within my basement. Um, I've I don't think anybody it. can find me. That's where there. you're the only person left on chatterbait yep. <laughs> down there in your basement. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord ride him jew cowboy yeah but jewish cowboys they exist my wife actually is from texas and jewish and uh people on the internet have been like and a cowboy sort of cool kind of a cowgirl. Maybe, cowgirl but Maybe. they'll be like you can't be jewish you're from texas and it's like <laughs> <laughs> okay it's an oxymoron they don't know about they don't know about galveston but i was you know? thinking about maybe like you could be my ratzo rizzo and i could be like you know midnight jew boys that a cowboy i'll wear the yarmulke Instead of um, a cowboy hat, and you could take me, you know, to the upper what, west side. Uh, I don't with go all to the, the west side. Yeah, but that's where all the uh, elderly Jewish women are that do, have a lot of plastic surgery. What? Oh, and they all look like this. Well, he's making, you kind of look like the Joker. Yeah, he's that's pulling what they his look face like. back. Yeah, like uh, white women are the Joker. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Uh, but they have a lot of money, uh, and you could take me up there to these weird, like the Soho house or something, and you know, figure You're it out. You're trying to make, make some me money. pimp you out like a gigolo? Yes. yes. Midnight Jubilee. What makes you think I have the power to make people want to fuck you? Nobody has that power. Nobody yeah, has that I don't power. even have that power. <laughs> yeah. you don't. So we're in trouble. That's I'll, all right. I mean, I'll fuck you. There Yay. Yay! I'm so happy now. This is why I brought him on. I knew I could win him over. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Are we gonna that's, hear some? That's uh, paid content. I think though. it was all you know. We the lemon party brings a lot of people together. But uh, you know, we have uh, a song coming up. Oh, that Andrew is gonna drop the bomb on you. Oh yeah, hard. And and what's the name of your band? Oh okay. Yeah, let's can plug, plug some stuff. Can I plug my band? Um, oh, please plug. My it. band's called Quartz Casino. Quartz like the rock casino, like uh, craps. Link in the description to Quartz Casino. Link in the description, sure. Um, and uh, we're playing a show next Tuesday, which is March 26th at Nikki's Unisex in Williamsburg. Ooh. Be there. Be there or be square, dancing somewhere else. Yeah. Are you going to give the people a little preview then, huh? This I'm is our do, first yeah. guest, our first musical guest. You first are. First musical yeah. guest. I wrote the song, Not an AI, um, and nice. it's a song called Mustard Man, and it's about... A guy made out of mustard. <laughs> That's perfect. That's awesome. All right, welcome to LTE Tiny Desk Series. Some folks say that I'm too spicy to be their friend. Ham and cheese and bread go nicely. I'm a mustard man. Mayonnaise don't have much flavor, but I'm a fan. Ketchup's on its best behavior. I'm a mustard man. Cash rules everything around me. Wu Tang Clan. Stick your knife into my belly. I'm a mustard man. Pull up right beside a limo. Wave your hand. Pass me through the open window. I'm a mustard man. A dollar for me is okay to have yourself some fun. But if you eat a spoonful, you will burn your little tongue. I'd rather be a condiment than be a piece of meat. But if I had my druthers, oh, I would be the one that eats. 
NYC sardine apartments in a tin can. Someone called the fire department. I'm a nut mustard man. Wish I lived a little further. Pakistan. This city grinds you into burger. I'm a mustard man. Squirt me on a Nathan's hot dog. Coney Island. My, all my arteries are so clogged. I'm a mustard man. Throw me out when I am empty. Garbage can. Life forever doesn't tempt me. I'm a mustard man. A dollop of me is okay if you want to have some fun. But if you eat a spoonful, you will burn your little tongue. I'd rather be a condiment than be a piece of meat. But if I had my druthers, oh, I would be the one who eats. Some folks say that I'm too spicy to be their friend. Ham and cheese and bread go nicely. I'm a mustard man.